All right, so I'm going to show you how to IP a node. So I went ahead and got on the console of the node, and I went into the directory home slash cohesity slash bin slash network, and then there's a configure script. So the full name is configure underscore network dot sh. This will bring up a menu that you can use to set. We're going to select number two. Next option, I'm going to select one for IPv4, but you can do it via IPv4 or 6. So this is just showing us our mapping. I'm going to select bond 0 that maps to bridge 0. This is where the IP address really would exist. And so I'm going to select that. Your configuration might be a little bit different, but this is what I'm going to do here. Next, it's asking us to enter the IP, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Then I'm going to hit enter. Now when it asks for a prefix, it's looking for a number, so I'm just going to do default class C, which is 24. And we're going to go ahead and define the default gateway. Then it will ask you about the MTU size. I would select the default of 1500 unless you uh, specifically need jumbo frames. Now here it's just giving us what it's actually doing. It's going to update the ifconfig bond zero file that's pointing to bridge zero. And then here it's going to actually add in the IP address information into the actual bridge file. And then if you want to make it active, we'll select yes and then it will actually reset the network. So when we select yes, it'll bounce the network interfaces that belong into this bond, which underneath belong into a bridge. I'd say it usually takes 30 to 60 seconds, and then we'll come back up. And now at this point, we are done with the uh, IP. Select number three to kind of show the interface, and then ideally you'd probably want to bounce the networking on the node. Ran past what you see where it's doing dot .91 in the default gateway here. At this point, I'm going to hit 13 to quit. And then we're back at the console, and I'm going to go ahead and restart the networking. So the full command is going to be sudo system ctl space restart space network, and then enter. Now that return to the prompt, the network restart is done. Another useful command that you can do is from iris underscore cli, you can do interface space list. Type iris underscore CLI and then enter. Log in with the default creds of admin admin and then you'll be able to do interface space list. So here we have interface list, we have the loopback, and then we have bond zero. Now in this case it's virtual, so I only have one actual interface that's part of this bond. Typically on physical though, you would have two. And we have our IP address, subnet mass, gateway, and so on. We don't have anything set currently for bond one for the other interface. And if I wanted to, then I could additionally go ahead and do that same process for the other interface. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.